this video, I'll run through how to set up and manage a budget for any type of construction related or home building project using the free BuildBook budget template. First thing you'll need to do is go to BuildBook to get the link to the Google Sheets template. Once you have the link, make a copy from the file menu. Get acquainted with the tabs across the bottom. You'll find all the instructions in the first tab, which you can refer to at any time. You'll notice the first couple tabs are for recording all your current activities like expenses, change orders, and payments. The next set of tabs are color coded to help organize the reports and summaries of how you're tracking with all the activities you've entered so far. And as you're going through the tabs, you'll notice color coding. Anything in blue is something you can change. In the red color coded tabs, you'll find the budget summary where you can see the summary to date, which rolls up all your expenses, change orders, and credits applied to the project. The values get summed up from the other tabs when saving individual line items. The actuals versus budget is a drill down into all the actual expenses so far, so you'll get an idea of where you are today. If it's green, you're good, which shows you're under budget, and if it's red, you're over. The charts tab is a great tool to use for regular check-ins with your clients or teams. The first chart helps visualize a snapshot of the initial estimate and the distribution of expense categories. The second chart shows the actual expenses up until now. For example, the largest category of spending so far with selections at 88%. And you can check in on the other tabs to recall, oh yeah, uh, we had to purchase flooring, some cabinetry, countertops, and appliances. The budget versus actuals by category helps review how you're doing against the budget all rolled up by category. You'll see color coding for being within the budget or going over. These three tabs are the main ones you'll present to your team or client. If you want to make a change to these, you can edit the working sheets until they all look good. To customize the logo, project and client information, head over to the company and project tab where you can update your company name and logo. This will automatically update all the locations where the logo and names appear. Once the main sheets are ready, you can first share with your team to review, and to do that, you can hit the share button and enter their email addresses. For clients, you can export a PDF by going to File, Download, PDF. You can attach them to emails for monthly or quarterly recaps or invoices. So far, I've talked about how to track your budget once a project is underway, but what if you still need to set up the initial estimate? Not a problem. The template offers additional tabs to help create the estimate. You can jump right into the Input Estimates tab and itemize all the line items required for the job. If there's a category you'll need to add, use the Budget Categories tab to manage them, and then go back to your Estimate tab to complete your line items. The project totals will automatically be pulled right into your budget summaries. And that's the quick rundown for how to set up and manage construction budgets. There are other great templates available from BuildBook for estimates, schedules, and punch lists. So check out the website if you're looking for other free tools that'll make your life easier. And if you're looking to really up your game, check out our project management software suite, where you can manage all your jobs through our project management app and online tools, which is even easier than using these spreadsheets. Head to BuildBook for a free trial.